If you already have someone assigned to this in your practice, or if you're looking to hire someone, today is exactly what you need to hear to know who to hire to set yourself and your practice up for success. Success Confidentials are conversations around elective growth, what drives it and what sustains it. Are you ready to think outside the box and do healthcare differently? You'll learn from our missteps, our successes, and change the way that you think about elective healthcare. So let's have some fun. <laughs> let's dive in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, we're Lauren and Christine bringing you another Success Confidentials. <laughs> I'm Christine, I joined a private practice nearly a decade ago, but I came from the world of business, sales, marketing, customer service, so I pivoted the way we treated our elective practice. We treated our patients like VIP customers and our team like highly trained concierge, customer service, and sales professionals. I'm Lauren, I worked in private practice for four years, but my journey first started as a patient ambassador. I'm a next generation marketing guru, really specializing in helping practices meet the consumer where they're at, which is online, and lead them into action. Then we worked together for four years, that's how we met, mm -hmm. and cracked the code, figured out the secret sauce. We were able to see an average 60% year over year growth rate with our last year completely exploding in a 103% increase in cash pay services. As always, we're here to share how we did it. So today we are going to talk about who is vital to the success of your social media. We always preach that you need someone in your practice. The ultimate goal is we have someone in our practice mm -hmm. running our social media, but who is that ideal person? So if you already have someone assigned to this in your practice, or if you're looking to hire someone, today is exactly what you need to hear to know who to hire to set yourself and your practice up for success. So we talk so much about social media mm -hmm. and obviously I'm very passionate about it personally. Just a little bit. <laughs> just, just a smidgen. <laughs> but the reason this is so important and this is a conversation we keep on having and kind of peeling back the layers week after week is because we know what a lead generator social media can be yeah. for a practice, mm -hmm. especially from our firsthand experience while we were in practice mm -hmm. and now watching other clients take these tools that we've learned and created mm -hmm. and implementing them and now seeing those results as well. I think back to a conversation I had with a surgeon not too long ago who mm -hmm. is very forward thinking, has an amazing, beautiful, world-class practice. Mm -hmm. And he said, I know social media is important. Mm -hmm. He said, I struggle to really put resources behind it because mm -hmm. I just don't see the ROI. Mm -hmm. And then he smiled and he said, but I guess that's because we're not doing it right. Mm -hmm. And it really is so true because I think if you're not seeing ROI, you kind of go, well, at the end of the day, how does this push my bottom mm -hmm. line? How does this get me to my goals? Mm -hmm. And from our personal experience, we know we generated millions mm -hmm. in revenue mm -hmm. every single year mm -hmm. from using social media well. And it's twofold. One, the strategy of what you're putting out there on social media, mm -hmm. but also the person in this role, yeah. which most of the time is a marketing or social media coordinator. Yeah who has the duty of running the social media platforms. So we talk in our trainings on the three pillars of success, mm -hmm. but today we're really talking about kind of the three tools of success, which is you need the right people, mm -hmm. you need the right training and mm -hmm. knowledge, and then you need the right resources. Mm -hmm. So today, if we're talking about the right people, mm -hmm what are we looking for or what are we evaluating in our mm -hmm. current team? Because we mm -hmm. may already have that team in place yeah. or we may be hiring for that. Either way, at the end of the day, what do we need to be successful in the people that are running social media? Yeah, so there are some innate abilities that I look for whenever I was hiring for this role when I was in practice. Mm -hmm. And that's really for a creative ability. Mm -hmm. That's execution. Mm -hmm. And also to have the mindset or the ability to strategize seeing yeah. that big picture yeah. and I think all three of these and no matter which way it looks in your practice if you have a large marketing team which we were really blessed to have when we were in practice or just one person mm -hmm. 
this has to be part of your social media is someone having these three innate abilities and the rest is teachable. We can Mm -hmm. add skills on top of that. I think to when you joined our team and took over social media, Mm -hmm. we really lucked out without knowing because we didn't intentionally bring Mm -hmm. you into the practice possessing these three abilities mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. you possessed all three abilities mm-hmm. so you're like this unicorn that we happened to find <laughs> who made our social media so extremely successful mm-hmm. and it was my top lead generator running mm-hmm. our refractive business was mm-hmm. our social media so mm-hmm. it was so easy to see why it worked mm-hmm. what kind of falls under these innate abilities we're talking about when you are looking for the perfect fit or assessing who's already doing this job in your practice. So first let's start with someone who has a strategic mind. What are we looking for with that? Mm -hmm. When I think of someone in this role who will succeed or be able to execute strategy, Mm -hmm. we need someone who's very goal oriented. Mm -hmm. We need someone who can see the big picture, Mm -hmm. who can absorb concepts. Mm -hmm. Uh, Someone who also understands people Mm -hmm. and is emotionally intelligent. That is part of strategy on social media. Mm -hmm. And someone who can just get marketing strategies. Mm -hmm. They don't have to necessarily be the kind of mind who's going to create. Mm -hmm. Because in our training, we we give you all the strategies. But they need to be able to absorb, understand, and be excited about using them. Mm -hmm. So then we get into the execution phase. And I think of this, at least in myself, like when am I wearing this cap? Mm -hmm. It's honestly when I'm scrolling social media Mm -hmm. and identifying trends that are out there or ideas that maybe we can create in our business and sharing it in a folder to come back to the desk later and go through the entire concept. So Mm -hmm. I'm really wearing this execution hat when I'm looking at trends. I am a social media user. I'm putting on my content creator hat, really organizing our calendar Mm -hmm. and figuring out what's the best way Mm -hmm. to get us to our goals that the strategist side of me Mm -hmm. sets. (laughs) Yes, the doer essentially. Yeah. Taking strategy, putting it into action, staying on top of it. Mm -hmm. Someone has to be very organized and self driven. Mm hmm to be able to make it all fit together. All the strategy is not good without Mm -hmm. this. Yes. And then the creativity side, Mm -hmm. that's huge. And the first thing that comes to mind for me is taste level. Mm -hmm. Someone has to have a good eye Mm -hmm. for design and a mind that can take a strategy, a current trend, Mm -hmm. and turn it into something relevant Mm-hmm. in your practice that on brand <laughs> on brand fits your personality yeah. oh dr so-and-so would be great at this you mm-hmm. know that person that can bring it all together mm-hmm. with the creative juices yeah and i think creativity is the number one thing that comes to mind for mm-hmm. the social media coordinator role for mm-hmm. people and i completely understand that and i think one way we can really define if they have good taste or really mm-hmm. creative mm-hmm. is i always had people present past work for mm-hmm. me um so whether it was a past company yeah. a college project Mm -hmm. for me I wasn't really looking to see if their work that they created match my brand colors and my brand font no but I was looking for um, do they have an eye for space in between are they allowing things to breathe do they understand what is appealing to the human eye because Mm -hmm. I can train and teach someone how to make a good graphic but Mm -hmm. they just have to have that creativity eye for design yeah So earlier I was talking about an example of us in practice Mm -hmm. and how we did have those three things, especially in the blessing of having a marketing team that Mm -hmm. had time to Mm -hmm. do all these three things. What happens if someone has one person that doesn't possess all these three things or a team of people that doesn't possess all these three things? Like how would they even know? Mm -hmm. What would they look at? Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's a lot of things that can happen, and we see it happen all the time. I think that's the most common problem we see, Mm -hmm. where someone has someone running their social media, and they're probably a great team member, and they probably Mm -hmm. are really talented in certain ways and have a lot of skills. Mm -hmm. If we see someone who has their marketer running social media, maybe they're an excellent marketer, but social media is not their thing. Or if Mm -hmm. they have someone at the front desk who seems enjoys social media, Mm -hmm. running it, whoever it is, or... Typically, they say it's because they're young. (laughs) Or the the surgeon or the doctor themselves, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If you don't possess these three skills, Mm -hmm. what's going to happen is if you don't have the 
strategic mind. And usually Mm -hmm. that happens more when you have someone who's just taking this on as an added duty. Mm -hmm. You're not going to have content that reaches your goals. Mm -hmm. There's no plan. Mm -hmm. They're just posting to post. You're really not going to see people that follow you and grow with you and are nurtured down the funnel Mm -hmm. into your practice as a patient. It's just kind of noise and it's just Mm -hmm. stuff that's put out there. Mm -hmm. If you're lacking creativity, so you may have someone who's maybe the doctor or Mm -hmm. someone higher up in the practice who has the strategy, but if they lack the creativity, then you're not going to see things that are appropriate for the platform Mm -hmm. or look homemade or Mm -hmm. it kind of looks amateur. And you go, ah, this person has all the strategy and intellect in the world, Mm -hmm. but the creativity aspect is is lacking. And so your content's Mm going to really miss the mark Mm -hmm. and you're putting stuff out there that's not going to really resonate with Mm -hmm. your audience the way it needs to. Mm -hmm. Or if you're lacking execution then you're not going to have consistency Mm -hmm. or you're not going to have things that are on trend Mm -hmm. or feel savvy to the platform Mm -hmm. or inconsistency or just a lack of Mm -hmm. doing what has to be done to get Mm -hmm. to your goals. So it just looks like they thought of it for that week and mm -hmm. that was their goal and then they forgot about it and went on to the next. Yeah. I mean, bottom line, you're just not going to get the results. You're not going to grow and you're not going to see this as a tremendous source of revenue. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to be proud of your brand that's on social media. That's the other thing is we invest in building world-class practices Mm -hmm. and sometimes our social medias do not reflect that. That's mm-hmm. embarrassing at the end of that. You want to yeah. be proud of your social media. That represents you in the mm-hmm. most authentic way online. Yeah. Not praying that someone doesn't click <laughs> to your Instagram type yeah. thing. You know, yeah. you don't want that. Mm-hmm. To recap, your social media coordinator needs to have the ability to strategize, execute, and of course, a creative mind. Mm-hmm. And I think to take away... One, if you already have someone in your practice Mm -hmm. running social media, is to stop and kind of evaluate their abilities. Mm -hmm. You can have a great team member who excels at execution, but if they're lacking strategy or creativity, they will not be fully successful in this role or you won't be fully successful as a practice on social media. So then you kind of just have to evaluate where you're at. Is this some, are we a practice where we can add someone to the team mm-hmm. who can bring the creativity and strategy? Or is that something that, you know, you can step in? I had a social media coordinator who was great at the execution Mm -hmm. and she was pretty creative, but I had to provide the strategy and I knew that and it was okay Mm -hmm. because I made time for it and I knew that was my role. Mm -hmm. So just kind of evaluate and it doesn't matter who is fulfilling these roles, they have to be there. If this topic resonated with you, let us know and hit the like button on this episode. Leave questions or continue the conversation in the comments. For more conversations about how to drive and sustain elective growth, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And as always, check out our available resources to make your life easier at thepatientwhispers.com.